Today we're going to discuss some amazing news about a broker's recent revelation that revealed the existence of synthetic shares. It seems like Citadel is expanding its influence into the courts in addition to the SEC. Keep checking back as we explore the specifics and ramifications of this startling revelation. Welcome to Talk Daily. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, and enter our giveaway. However, keep in mind that this is not a video offering financial advice. Breaking news broke when Meta News tweeted about TradeStation confirming a share imbalance and possibly counterfeit shares in MMLP. According to the tweet, TradeStation acknowledged a significant share imbalance and disclosed that the NBA certificate they received excluded a significant number of NBA shares that they loaned to other broker-dealers. This has far-reaching implications since it means that TradeStation is unable to comply with customer requests to register and record ownership because they lack the physical certificates to verify ownership. DRS transfers LP holders wanted to DRS their NBA shares by moving them to as TradeStation encountered a dilemma because some shares on their platform did not have physical certificates attesting to their synthetic share count. The scope of this issue is called into doubt by TR's decision to openly admit possessing synthetic shares. How many people who used Try to Station and had shares in MNLP or NBH were unintentionally exposed to synthetics? This is a worrying scenario that implies a sizable portion of MNLP holders might own synthetic shares, with only a small portion requesting a transfer. Medin News provided additional analysis of the problem, highlighting that each brokerage business is allotted a certain number of shares, and that the total number of shares held by all brokerages must match the shares of next bridge hydrocarbons that are now outstanding. However, TradStation acknowledged that it had more shares than it was allotted, which prevented the transfer of consumer shares to a Meta News outlet. Meta News commends TradStation for being open about the existence of fake shares in MLP. Congressman Ralph Norman emphasized how serious the problem was by stating that more than 70 co-signers, including members of Congress, signed a letter to the SEC and the Federal Reserve regarding MNLPS. Furthermore, 40,000 people have sent letters to Congress expressing their alarm, demonstrating a considerably wider movement than first thought. Recent events imply that Citadel influence extends. In addition to regulatory agencies, a lawsuit brought by Northwest Biotherapeutics against market makers, such as Citadel Securities, is slated for rejection on the grounds of purportedly inadequate proof of loss causation. The dubious ruling casts doubt on the integrity of the legal system and suggests that market participants and the judiciary may have colluded. A former senior advisor to the SEC moving into management at Citadel serves as an example of the revolving door between the SEC and market entities. This practice raises ethical questions because people can move between regulatory bodies and private entities with ease, potentially undermining the fairness of legal proceedings. The supervision of financial stability the Council's 2023 annual report was emphasized by a unique Wales refers to the U.S. financial system as a vulnerability minefield. This concerning description raises the possibility that the U.S. financial system as a whole may be in a dangerous situation, hinting at future difficulties and the possibility of margin calls for banks and market makers. Resolving the unjustified rage directed at Adam Aaron, retail stock emphasizes that market influencers like Ken Griffin, who determine stock prices, are to fault for manipulating stock prices, not Aon, the CEO of the company. Aaron's constructive efforts have helped AMC overcome obstacles. Finally, the exposure of synthetic shares in Citadel's extensive influence raises major concerns about market integrity. These developments underscore the need to aim displeasure towards those in charge of setting stock prices and adopting new revenue streams and engaging with individual investors. That's all we have for you today. What do you think about AMC stock? Please tell us in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. The cooperation between regulatory agencies, courts, and market organizations demands careful scrutiny.